Welcome back. Today we have a 997 Porsche Carrera and uh, have a slightly oil leak. The oil coming out, one oil leak coming out from the well cover gasket, it's leaking on the passenger side. And the second oil leak, we're not sure yet, it's leaking between engine and transmission. Maybe it's a rear main seal or maybe it's a IMS bearing cover. So uh, to check that, we need to drop the engine and transmission at the same time, remove the transmission from the engine and see exactly what's leaking. At the same time, when the engine was on the table gonna be, we're gonna replace the well covered gasket. So it's quite a bit of the work here. To do that, we need to remove everything. Train go by. Air filters, disconnect the AC lines, drain the cooling system. It's only like four bolts hold this engine, two on the engine mounts and two on the front. So let's begin to do that first. Not fun. I already drained the AC, suck it out so we can disconnect the AC lines. It will be more easy for us. If you don't have an AC machine, you can just remove the compressor too. But we do have so. Oh. So he said 
the other one should be here tomorrow. He said there was a like a nick in it. It almost looked like it was a used wheel in a new box. So he's sending he ordered another one. He said we should get them both tomorrow. So that's the deal on that. Well, hey. Originally he said five to seven days on one of them. Yeah. He said three days on one and five to seven on the other. And I just ordered some tires for my car, so I had to put it. You wouldn't take my credit card. Ooh, and you need fire rack. Fire rack? Cheaper than, it was cheaper than them. Like $30 cheaper, 35 bucks each tire. Really? Yeah. axle shafts just unscrew from transmission and pick it up the ground cable here
more. One. One. Yeah. It's licking the oil in here. Pull the oil here. I need to put new seal. Slicking oil. What? The crankshaft is still leaking oil. Crankshaft? Yeah. How do you fix that? Oh, you said you said you got one of the crankshaft. Now I need to remove it, put new one. That's how you're gonna fix it. But. So she can come pick it up, right? Yeah, then she can bring it next week when we're gonna get a sensor. Wow. I thought we were gonna get it for at least two, three days. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right, so now we're ready to put engine back in, in the car. Uh, we replaced a few things in it. Number one, we did a breather valve or crankcase valve, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we found also oil leak coming out from this transmission plug. So we replaced the transmission plug. <laughs> we put brand new uh, rear main seal. We put transmission input seal, torque converter seal. We replace the wall cover, seal, it's a sealer, and plugs. Inside you have a spark plugs, seals. We replace the also uh, new vacuum pump seal on the front. So all job done right now. So just ready to put it back in the car.
It's only two on the front and two on the back, what's holding the engine. Two nuts on the front with transmission and two on the engine mounts. Now we can drop it down. That's it. Engine in, put everything back together and we should be fine to go. Thanks.